Representing Fractions 1, Misconception 1. Students with Misconception 1, part to whole, unequal pieces, consistently associate the number of shaded in pieces with the numerator and the total number of pieces with the denominator. They do not pay attention to the size of the pieces or the region. We will take a look at student thinking about three items to gain a better understanding of Misconception 1. All of the items we will explore are continuous, meaning that the shaded in areas or the unshaded areas all share common borders. Each item will have unequal portioning. Students will have to consider the size of the pieces in each item to determine the answer. They will not be able to simply count the number of shaded in parts as the numerator and the total number of pieces as the denominator. Looking at these student responses in this example will help develop a better understanding of Misconception 1. Student A chose the correct response. And when we explore the thinking, we can see the student considered the size of the pieces in their response. The student redrew the figure, dividing it into five equal portions, shading in two of the five, and said the real two-fifths of this shape. In example B, the student said, I chose the answer because two of the, of the five pieces is shaded. This is a clear example of misconception one. The student counted the number of shaded in pieces, two, and the total number of pieces, five, without considering the size of the pieces. In the second example where students were asked, is the shaded part one-third, we can see student A chose the correct response. And looking closely at student A's thinking, we can see that the student redrew the original figure and said it was incorrect, then drew another figure divided equally in two-thirds with one-third shaded in and indicated that is correct. This is evidence that the student did consider the size of the pieces uh, when making their decision. In example B, the student said, I first checked to see if there were three pieces. So the student came over and counted the number of pieces total. There were, so I checked to see if there was one shaded in. There was, so the answer is correct. So this student is clearly demonstrating misconception one, where they took the total number of pieces and used it as the denominator, and then took the shaded in piece and used it as the numerator without considering the size of the pieces. In the final item, we see that students chose different responses. Let's look more closely at the thinking behind their responses. In example A, the student redrew the figure, dividing it into four equal pieces, shading in one of those four, and then said, that it equaled one-fourth. The student continued on to say the pieces are not divided equal, evenly. Um, this gives us some evidence that the student considered the size of the pieces when determining their response. In example B, the student did redraw the figure pretty much the way it was originally drawn, shaded in one and labeled it shaded, left three blank, and then said one plus three is four, indicating the total number of pieces. 
The student didn't recognize the pieces needed to be equal size, but instead counted the total number of pieces for the denominator and the shaded in pieces for the numerator. The thinking behind this incorrect response is a strong indication the student is using misconception one to select their response.